I'm Michael. And I'm Virgie. And we are your sexy, sultry, salacious tour guides for today. We know that you know all about the fabulous featured speakers, and outstanding networking opportunities, and hot topics that will be featured at this year's Summer Institute. But we're here to give you a sneak peek about what sexy San Francisco has to offer once you get here. We're here in the main conference room of the Summer Institute campus, and we have lots of exciting things to share with you. Like what, Virgie? Like shopping. Like food. Like coffee. Like sexy places. Get ready. Let's go downstairs. <laughs> And what you just saw was the food court below the campus where you may or may not be taking your lunch breaks. I prefer the loving hut, vegan cuisine, all vegan, all delicious, all the time. Now in the event that you don't want to eat vegan all the time, because sometimes I don't either, here we are at the San Francisco Soup Company, where you can get a variety of many soups served in a sourdough bowl. And as you know, San Francisco is famous for its sourdough bread. At Catch Isle, you can get whatever you want in terms of the fish world. My favorite, the shrimp sandwich. Another absolute favorite of mine, coriander. This is my favorite, chicken with sweet basil. These were some of the tasty treats of the infamous Beard Papa. Now that we've had our sweets and our savories, we're ready to hit the city, so come and join us. historic Powell Street cable car turnaround, which is located right outside of the Summer Institute campus. Here is where you'll see lots of performance artists, we have people playing music on the street, we have people doing tap dance, and this is where the tourists intermingle with the locals. So hi, do you think San Francisco is sexy? Sure. <laughs> I think San Francisco is sexy? Yes. Lady, is San Francisco sexy? Yes. I want to show you one of my favorite characters at the Powell Street Turnaround. Now at the Summer Institute, we are all about sex positivity, but this guy is not. Let's see if we can take a peek at what he says and what's on his signs. How are you doing today? I'm going to take the look. Excellent. Yeah. Want to take a picture with it? It's all right. And here we are at the Ferry Building Plaza. This is at the end of Market Street, where Market Street, San Francisco's biggest thoroughfare, hits the bay. Right here on the plaza, every Saturday morning, they have huge farmer's market, bringing you all the local, organic, sustainable food that the Bay Area has to offer. And there's tons of really great restaurants inside, so come on in. We're about to head into the Ferry Building, which was erected AD 1896. San Francisco and Berkeley are centers of chocolate production. And when I say chocolate production, I mean excellent artisanal chocolate, like Sharpenberger. This location has all kinds of chocolate, from dark chocolate to light chocolate, and everything in between. So, San Francisco is well known for being a chocolate center in the United States and the world. So out here on the boardwalk of the Ferry Plaza, we have the lovely Hog Island Oyster Company, um, featuring locally harvested oysters from the bay. 
Who can think of anything sexier than a glass of champagne and some oysters by yourself, with a friend, or with a sexy partner? And don't forget that at Hog Island, every Thursday, they have dollar oyster happy hour. Right across the bay is Oakland and Berkeley. Oakland is one of the centers of the Bay Area's art scene. Every first Friday of the month, there's an art walk. And if you want to visit UC Berkeley, the world-renowned university, you just have to cross that bridge or take part. San Francisco is unique for its artisanal coffee culture. San Francisco uh, hosts handfuls of local roasteries making organic, fair trade, and sustainably grown beans. This is one of my favorite, Sight Glass Coffee, because the baristas are always sexy and always sweet, and it's just a few blocks from the downtown of the San Francisco State Campus. Right off of Folsom Street is Wicked Grounds, a kinky cafe that brings together all of the folks who love everything to do with leather and spanking. Um, every year I come to Folsom Street Fair and there's just tons of people all over the street wearing all kinds of costumes, naked, it's amazing. And inside you can get a cup of coffee and if you happen to have a slave, he or she can sit right at your feet while you sip away. Hey, again, we're up here in the Castro, which is like the gay district of San Francisco. I've just run into somebody on the street, and they're going to tell me what they think the sexiest thing about the Castro is. The sexiest thing in the Castro, it's you, Michael. <laughs> After me. So here we are at the corner of Castro and Market. This intersection was made famous with the recent Gus Van Sant film, Milk, detailing the lives and times of Harvey Milk, the first uh, openly gay elected supervisor of San Francisco. We are right here in Harvey Milk Plaza where he set up his soapbox to try to organize people in the late 70s. Now let's take a little spin around this historic intersection. So right behind me here is the Castro Theater, one of the old historic theaters of San Francisco, play movies all day, every day of the week. My favorite thing is that if you go to the evening performances, during the weekend they have a live organ player that comes and plays the intro music before the movie starts. Let's keep spinning around. Now directly behind me right here is Twin Peaks, one of the oldest gay bars in the city. It's right here with its glass windows right on the intersection. You can come in, have a drink after classes, and watch what happens in the Castro District. Another must stop place right here at the corner of Castro Market is Hot Cookie. They're serving cookies all day and all evening long. The best thing is they have penis shaped cookies. You can also buy hot cookie underwear and if you come in and take a picture with you and your hot cookie underwear, they'll give you a free cookie. great vibrator to go with your Summer Institute experience. Good Vibrations is the place to go. You can test any vibrator you want. You can put on a glove and try on some lube. Additionally, as an added bonus, Charlie Glickman, who's the Education Director for Good Vibrations, is going to be a speaker at the Summer Institute this year. So, it's perfect. So that takes us to the end of our tour. We're right back here where we started at the Summer Institute campus. Thank you so much for joining us to see what our favorite things about San Francisco were. And we look forward to seeing you this summer at the Sexuality Summer Institute. I'm off to class.